Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Uh, my name is Dave as always and this is Kraken Packs, the special edition. What makes it so special? Today we're hunting gods. We're not talking about old gods. I'm not talking about new gods. I'm talking about the middle aged guys. You know, the guys in their 40s just like me. I'm talking Hour of Devastation gods. I'm talking Scarab gods. I'm talking Los Locust gods. Uh, I actually am on a hunt today uh, from to open an older set because there are some things I need from older sets for the commander decks and uh, I think that since I had some some unopened boxes I decided to go ahead and open one up today for you guys and see what we get. Uh, Arrow of Devastation was sometime around 2017-ish uh, so these cards are a little bit older not too too old probably about two and a half to three years old and honestly I don't really remember everything that's in Hour of Devastation it's been a while since I've opened a pack of this stuff so hopefully I get some good surprises, and hopefully you enjoy what you see. So join me on this adventure for hunting middle-aged gods. Alright, let's go ahead and open this box, this bad boy up. So I'm looking for specifically the Scarab God, and the reason I am is because I have the Commander series, as you guys know. And I would love to uh, go ahead and do a Zombie Tribals Scarab God style deck. So on top of that, let me just remind you guys, please... Uh, the obligatory, the obligatory stuff of, you know, subscribe, like, share. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see some more videos as I go. Remember, I do a new video every Friday. Hopefully I can get it up by 9 a.m. every Friday, but if not, it'll be up at some point in Friday. This week was a crack and packs. Uh, I was going to do a commander video. Unfortunately, uh, some of the stuff I was uh, putting in the deck did not arrive unfortunately so i did not have the chance to get it completed so that'll be next week so for this week you guys get my special edition of god hunting uh now had this been a different period of time if it wasn't like theros time i would say i was just hunting gods but unfortunately theros has gods in it too uh it has the better of the gods but this one these ones have the more unique gods they're not the indestructible ones so Again, I have a couple I'm hoping for, specifically the Scarab God. So let's see what we get. And another thing, too, that makes this really cool is the rare won't be on top. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here for you guys. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do what I've been doing. I'm going to just rifle through the commons, get to the uncommons, and see what we get. So a River Hoop. Hoopo. Uh, Tenacious Hunter, and Ramin Ramin Up Ruins, which a long time ago would have been really cool. And the first pack we open is a Nickel Bolas. I was kind of hoping for one, wasn't counting on it, but let's go ahead and see. So Nickel Bolas obviously is, you know, black, red, and blue. Always black, red, and blue. Uh, has four abilities. Uh, the first uh, uptick of two is target opponent exiles cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exiles a non-land card until end of turn you may cast that card without paying its mana cost so uh technically uh i could probably go ahead and put this in my nagusar deck and it'll be just fine uh second uptick would be each opponent for one is uh exiles cards two cards from his or her hand uh first down tick is negative four uh, it deals 7 damage to target opponent and creature an opponent or creature an opponent controls. And the ultimate is each exile, each non-land permanent your opponent's control. So he's really good. Of course he is because he's Nicol Bolas. So, uh, yeah. That's a pretty good start. I mean, I don't know if it's going to get much better than that right off the bat. I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. It's a pretty good, uh indicator that this box could be a really good one now i don't remember it's been a while i don't remember though if um these had like invocations or anything like that so we'll find out but it's been a while again i can't remember they have something i thought i know a monquette does all right so let's rifle through some of these commons uh i do like the deserts uh i use them in the uh, budget decks for Teaching people that cycling cards is, is sometimes necessary for certain situations. Alright, so Nissa's Defeat. If near Deadlands. Oh, I forgot about the deserts. 
and then vow manifestation and our rare is not a bad one i actually am a fan of this card so i'm not unhappy with this as well uh it's a pretty good uh good card i actually should use this in the kusar as well um and i'll look into that actually now i, I forgot all about him so we'll take a look at that next pack Ooh, that one ripped over nice and easily I do have an issue with opening these older packs. I always have. You've seen it in previous videos. Alright, let's rifle through more commons. Another desert. And we get to the uncommons. Uh, first one is Doomfall. It's not a bad one, actually. It makes people either exile or exile a creature or makes them discard a card, so it's not too bad. Uh, Fervent Paincaster. Not Anything really to speak home about, write home about, and Vile Man's Festation. And here's what's really good. I'm happy about this. Alright, so, I used Mirage Mirror uh, in a deck recently. Um, not used, but put it in a deck. And it was the only copy I had. So, getting another copy makes me happy because I have some... I, I actually like this card for Commander. Uh, it's only 3 to cast, and for 2, you can make it become a copy of a artifact creature or enchantment or land and it's not just yours so i really like that card well we are three for three here guys i'm not sure and i forgot about these little punch outs that you get with these all right <laughs> i know that there's some bad stuff in in a, in our devastation i'm not 100 percent sure you know I haven't seen anything too horrible yet <laughs> so so far a pretty good box Alright, some commons, another desert, I love the deserts, I love being able to get them. Alright, so the uncommons start with another Doomfall. Uh, Manticore Eternal, with a flicked, it's a zombie Manticore. Uh, Sunscorch Champion, uh, that's got a lot of text, so it uh, enters the battlefield, gain life equal to its power, and then it has Eternalize. And for those of you who don't remember Eternalize, uh, apparently it wasn't very popular. <laughs> it's, you know, you can uh, pay the cost and discard a card and then exile this card from your graveyard and it comes back as a 4-4 version of itself. And I believe that's... Let me take a look here. Is that mythic or is that rare? That's rare. Hour of Eternity. Uh, three blue and double X, so it's pretty expensive. X out X target creature cards from your graveyard. Uh, for each card exiled this way, return it, uh, create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4 4 black zombie. So, and I'm trying to get it to zoom in here for you. So, it's not a bad card, it's not a great card, but I mean, there is a use for it. I just don't know what the use would be for it yet. And I'm sure I can come up with one, especially if I get a scarab god. I'm not counting on it, especially after getting the Nickel Bolas. <laughs> It'd be nice, but I guarantee it'll be like a crusted, crested sun mare or something. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Alright, first uncommon we see here is Quarry Beetle. Uh, Crook of Condemnation. Uh, not bad for... Uh, not bad for Commander. <laughs> if you need the, uh, the Graveyard Hate, it... Uh, Exiles all cards from all graveyards, so it's not too bad. Overcome is a pretty good card too. It's like a it's like a weaker version of Overrun, but it still works. And Imminent Doom is the rare. Imminent Doom enters the battlefield with a Doom Counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with Converter Mana Cost equal to the number of Doom Counters on it, uh, Imminent Doom deals that much damage to target creature player, then put a Doom Counter on it. So, not bad. And our foil is a Tenacious Hunter. So, oh, I forgot about that. And we got a full art land. I, I completely forgot about the full art lands. All right, so there's another section there that we got to put up here. All right, we'll put that there. So, forgot about that. So that means that there's a possibility of getting a full art foil land out of these. Forgot all about those. Let's see what we got here. If 
Our brand Darcher is not too bad, actually. Open fire, beneath the sands, another desert. And, alright, so, the Uncommons. <laughs> Supreme Will. Sun Scourge Champion. And Riddle Form. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may be, have it become a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Alright. Fraying Sanity. So here's another one of our... I believe that's Mythic. Is that Mythic? No, it's not. It's actually just a rare. Uh, and you'll have to excuse me. I'm having a, a small issue with my sight this week. Uh, I don't know why, but I can't seem to uh, see colors today for some reason. Um, so Frank Sanity is one of the better cards uh, from the set, I think, anyway. Uh, three to cast, enchantment, enchanted player, so it's a curse. Uh, at the beginning of each end step, if enchanted player, uh, enchanted player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard... Where X is the number of cards put into that graveyard any t uh, from anywhere this turn. Technically, I could put that in the Kusar as well. And yeah, I'll keep referring back to the Kusar because this set actually has a lot of stuff in it that <coughs> would go well with the Kusar. So, keep that in mind if I keep mentioning it. Alright, up next. Go through some commons here. Another desert. I do like all the deserts, I'm not going to lie. Alright, up first on the Uncommon is Unconventional Tactics. Yeah, Unconventional Tactics. Jace's Defeat. And Unraveling Mummy. Alright, and our rare is... Actually, it's a Mythic. Our Mythic is Samet the Tested. I didn't even know that Samet was in there. All right, so for the cast, Samet Planeswalker for uptick of one. Up to one target creature gains double strike until end of turn. Uh, first down tick of two is uh, Samet deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two target creatures and or players. Ultimate, search your library for up to two creature and or Planeswalker cards. Put them onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. Alright. <laughs> Wasn't what I was hoping, but okay. I'll take it. it. That sucks, though, because that's my third, my second. Uh, there's only probably three uh, uh, Mythics in the box, so I only have one more chance, I think. And a foil rampaging hippo. So yeah, that means that I probably have only one more chance at a Mythic. So, hope it's a god. Again, not gonna complain. Nickel Bolus is a good thing to get. But... Alright, let's rifle through some commons again. Another desert. Alright, uncommon. Merciless, eternal, zombie cleric. Vizier of the Anointed. When Vizier of the Anointed enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with eternal eyes. Okay. And struggle to survive. And the rare is... Jeru with open eyes. Oh, I was correct. I did get an um uh an invocation. Now the cr problem is I can't tell what it is. Oh, look at that! I just said I needed a scarab god. It is an Amonket invocation style or whatever our devastations are. It is a scarab god. I said I needed it. Not only did I get it, but I got it in a better form. Look at that. Oh my. Now that is a thing of beauty. I am really, really happy about that. Holy crap. Um, so, for those of you that don't know why I wanted the Scarab God, I wanted him for a, um, a uh, zombie tribal mill style deck. And what he does is, uh, he's 5 to cast. He's a 5-5. Five five. He's a god. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses X life and scry X where X is the number of zombies you control. And then you can pay, I think that says four. He's a little hard to read for me right now. Um, I need more light here. Uh, you can pay, it looks like two, a black and a blue. Excel target creature card from... A graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 four, four black zombie. And when the Scarab do God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next upkeep. So, 
Sorry, I, I, you know, I, every time I think of Demir, I say Mir. I'm Mill. I meant to say a zombie tribal, like I did in the beginning. Uh, zombie tribal. This is what this guy is going to go for. And even better is that he's a cooler looking one. So I'm really, really excited about that, guys. Like, you have no idea. That, I, that's all I wanted out of the box. I didn't want the, like, the invocation style or whatever they have, whatever they call for Hour of Devastation. But you know what? I'm not going to look for gift horse in that now. Best box ever, just because not only did I get finally what card I wanted, but I got it in a special form. So, ah, ah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I'm sorry. I got to look at this again. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. Maybe I'll get an, an actual normal one, too. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, sorry. I'm just really happy about that. So, I do own a Scarab God now. All right. It's all downhill from here. I don't think that this box can get any better. And I'm not expecting it to. Wow. All right. Supreme Will, Steward of Solidarity, Saving Grace. And the rare is Champion of Wits. I know that this card used to be something uh, back when this was, I guess, in standard. Not so great now, but I don't know. It could be. It's something. I don't, not much, but it's something. I don't know. I'm really happy. I'm thinking about stopping this video, stopping the box, keeping the rest of the box for a later date. I don't know if it's going to get any better than this, but we push on. All right. Uh, another desert, and here we go. The uncommons are Appeal to Authority, Sifter Worm, and Dagger of the Worthy. The rare is Leave to Chance. I don't really like uh, the split cards in Magic all that much, but some of them are okay, but not all of them. All right, return any number of target permits you own to your hand, and Chance is discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. All right. Woo-hoo. Sorry, I'm a little flustered. I was not expecting a Scare God at all, let alone one of the uh, Invocation style. What are they called? I can't remember what they were called for Hour of Devastation, unless they were called Invocations. I know the Amon Ket ones were, but I don't know if they had the same name. Alright, rifle through the commons. Grab a desert. <laughs> Alright, first uncommon, Hope Tender. Shrill to survive. Dune Diviner. And Hour of Devastation, there's actually the card named after the set. So, Hour of Devastation reads as, All creatures lose indestructible intent of tur until end of turn. Hour of Devastation deals 5 damage to each creature and each non bolus Planeswalker. Interesting. Actually, uh, not bad. Um, again, I'm going to go back to it, but, but my, my Nakusar deck has in there a couple of cards like, you know, that deal damage to every, like, all creatures. And that one actually does it to Planeswalkers as well, so it's actually not a bad addition if I go ahead and add that later. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Alright. To the uncommons. Raz uh, Keth's Right. Search your library for a land card, put it under your hand, shelf your library. Oh, for a card, not a land card. Burning Fist Spinatar. Deserts Hold, and the rare is Rona's Last Stand. It's not a great card. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, you get to, for two, create a 5-4, and then land you control it on tap turn next. I mean, who cares? You've got a 5-4 turn two. It's not horrible. Uh, it may have been something during, or may not have. I don't remember. It's been so long since I looked at anything when our Devastation was out. All right. So, let's see, we got some commons. And, alright, another Razaketh's right for our uncommons lot. Chandra's Defeat. Uh, Bane Whip Punisher. And, <laughs> I forgot these were in there. So, I did go ahead. I'm a big fan of the making cat decks. People love cat decks. Uh, so, I went ahead and bought a couple of these from somebody for like. I don't know, I think it was 15 cents a piece. Something like that. Now I have another one, so... It's not horrible, I mean... It'll still go... It'll get made into a deck, that's for sure. 
Huh, I'm still thinking about that Scarab God. Now, I'm not going to say I'm disappointed because, well, I'm happier than hell. Uh, but I really wanted a regular one because it's easier to read. <laughs> uh, I have, you know, my eyesight's not the greatest. So the small print that they're putting on some of these cards, or they did put on some of these cards, makes it harder for me to read. But I'll, uh, I'll just keep it up and let people just read it. All right, so Nissa's Defeat, Unraveling Mummy, another Tenacious Hunter, and then the rare is Scavenger Grounds. Scavenger Grounds is a land, as a colorless, or you can sacrifice a desert and exile all cards from all graveyards. So, good hate card. Good hate card for uh, graveyard strategies. All right, we're only a third of the way through this box. I wasted so much time on the... The, the invocation. Just because I was so excited. Still excited. Alright. Uncommons. Uh, Sunset Pyramid. Consign to Oblivion. Another Ramanip Ruins. And then the rare is Hazard's Undying Fury. So it's Shuffle Your Library. And exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non land cards with converted mana cost five or less from. Among them, without paying their mana cost and land you control, don't untap during your next untap step. And damn, I was hoping that was foil. All right, well, we got a full art swamp. <laughs> Honestly, out of that pack, that's probably the most valuable card. <laughs> All right, All right what do we got here? So I'll just again rifle through the commons. To the uncommons. Bloodwater Entity. Uh, Crypt of the Eternals. I just threw that in. And he has again another Nikusar reference. And Saving Grace. The rare. Ramanip Hydra. Uh, for the cast for a 3 3 Vigilance Reach Trample. Plus 1 plus 1 if you control a desert. And plus 1 plus 1 if you have a desert card in your graveyard. Oh, I was correct. Oh my god, this box just keeps getting better and better. It's a foil full art swamp. I wish it was an island. I'm not gonna, you know. Wow. This box is... The, and it came with two. It came with an actual, the actual regular version of the same swamp. So, wow. I'm happier than hell right now. This box is getting better. Alright. Rifle through the commons. Yes, I know. I repeat that every pack. You're going to hear it 32 times. Alright. Uncommon Magnaroth. Uh, Torment of Scarabs. A Braid, which was a really good... It's still a really good card. And our rare is Kethnet's Last Word. For four, gain control of target artifact, creature, enchantment, and land you control don't untap during your next untap step. So, oh, and foil. Another foil. Foil rare. Swarm intelligence. Seven to cast enchantment. Not a very good start. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. That's actually really good. Alright. Foil island. Or not foil. Uh, full art island. It's a nice one too. And hey. You're not going to complain about cat tokens. Alright. <laughs> what else we got here? Uh, desert. And, alright. Uncommons. Supreme Will. Uh, consigned to Oblivion. And overcome, and then our rare is Dream Stealer, 3 to cast, 1, 2, Human Wizard, Menace. Uh, when he deals combat damage to a player, that player discards that many cards, and he has Eternalize, so he can become a 4-4. Four, four. Full Art Planes, that goes in a different file, and then our Token. Alright. Some commons, another desert. I like the deserts, I really do. Uh, they're good for budget decks, they really are. Alright, Jace's Defeat, River Hoopo, and Eternal of Harsh Truths, Rare, Solemnity. So, 
small quick story uh, I actually have uh, play a lot of blue white in my commander uh, solemnity actually is one of two parts of a lock uh, there's a card out there that you know says whenever an opponent casts a spell uh, put a counter on it and then counter it and then when it has X amount of I guess it's three or five or whatever it is counters on it you sacrifice it but with this out in play you basically just lock the game out nobody can cast anything except for you so not bad and a full art forest so <laughs> not a fit about I think I don't have any more solemnity that's why I don't run the combo in more of my uh, my commander decks I think I only had one so now I can put it in others I'm actually glad I decided to open this box today. I have one more of these boxes, and I think I'm not going to open it. And if I do, it ain't going to be for a while. All right. Uncommons in this pack were Hope Tender, Sunset Pyramid, and Bane Whip Punisher. The rare, Apocalypse Demon. All right. Apocalypse Demon is 6 to K Star Star Flyer. Uh, power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. And at the beginning of your upkeep, tap it. Unless you sacrifice another creature. So, not great. Not great at all. Full art mountain. And there's not a full art land in each and every pack. That's weird how it's just all over the place with this. I've gotten some regular lands out of some of these packs. So I'm just curious as to why there's so many all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright. Commons. Let's get past them because nobody cares. Uh, Alright. Magnaroth. It's kind of funny because it almost sounds like Ragnarok. Uh, Vizier of the True, uh, Ominous Sphinx, Rare, Nimble Obstructionist, so, eh, nothing to speak home about. Ready to cast 3-1 Flash Flying Bird Wizard with Cycling, and when you cycle it, counter target activated or triggered ability you don't control. I mean, <laughs> it's not horrible. Full Art Island, that's a nice one. I like the Full Arts out of the, this set. Another Cat Token. Alright. Alright, in case anybody cares to see what the commons were, there was nothing really to speak of about. Alright. Uncommons. Imaginary Threats. <coughs> Resolute Survivors, Vizier of the Anointed, Swarm Intelligence, a regular copy, okay, so the rare for this one was uh, Swarm Intelligence, uh, I read it earlier, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell and choose no targets for the copy, I'm going to look into that, and again, here's another full or planes, uh, I'm just so confused as to why a couple of the packs didn't have one. I thought that in this set that it was every pack had it. I'm not going to complain. I mean, I'm getting them, but it's just weird how some of them didn't have them. Yeah, some of them, a lot of them didn't have them. Okay. All right, commons. Let's take a look at commons here. Rifle through them. Get to the uh, uncommons. All right, so first uncommon is pack Imaginary Threats. Uh, Re wow, that's a repeat of the last pack again. Uh, Devotee of Strength. Bantu's Last Reckoning is the rare. I'm actually kind of happy I pulled this. Uh, I didn't have one. I see there's a foil behind it. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, destroy all creatures and land you control. Don't untap during your next untap step. Uh, I wish I could open a whole bunch of these. Uh, I play black in a lot of commander decks. I don't have a lot of destroy all creatures uh, stuff. Even with the lands don't untap, I don't care. Uh, but that'll go in a lot of different things. Um, so, uh, I only have one copy now. And that one copy is only going to, you know, go so far. Uh, the foil was a solitary cam camel. And the land was a full art forest with a proven combatant token. Ah, I forgot about Bontu's Last Reckoning. Okay, so, Bontu's Last Reckoning. I'm hoping maybe I pull a second one. All right. Rifle through the commons. Alright. Good card. Ip New Rivulet. Actually, pretty good card. Uh, actually, pricey too. Not pricey, pricey, but pricey enough that it's worth something. Overcome. And Dunes of the Dead. Alright. 
Uh, this is a good one. Torment of Hellfire. Uh, didn't realize that these actually had some value. It does. Uh, and I actually put it in one of my uh, commander decks. I only had one. So, again, now I have another one. It says, for two black and X, repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. So, full art mountain and a champion of the witch token. All right, let's see what we got here. Deserts. Like the deserts. Ooh, even better. Another if new rivulet. I only had one. Now I have three. All right. Liliana's Defeat. And Burning Fist Minotaur. Rare is Refuse to Cooperate. Uh, the Refuse part is Ford Chaos. Instant Refuse deals damage to target spells. Control or equal to that spell's converted mana cost. So somebody plays a 5 to Chaos spell and you, do you play it. It deals 5. And cooperate is the aftermath. It says copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. All right. And a full art swamp and a zombie token. Two thirds of the way through. This video is going long. It's my fault. I'm trying. Should have been done by now. All right. Get through some commons. It's just this box is a little older, so I wanted to go over a little bit more thoroughly. All right, first uncommon Chandra's defeat, Angel of the God Pharaoh, and Devotee of Strength, the rare Dream Stealer. Didn't we just open one of these? Couldn't have been, you know, Bantu's Last Reckoning. Of course not. Uh, combat just got a card. Yeah, we did. This is a uh, a repeat. Boo, boo on the repeat that wasn't Bantu's Last Reckoning. Have I gotten to the next? I don't think I have. I think I haven't actually pulled the last. I think the third and final, maybe. Um, Mythic. Honestly, I don't remember. Alright. Uncommons. Appeal to Authority. Uh, riddle Form. And Claim to Fame. And the rare is... Emmet Eternal, it's a 3 to cast 5-5, five, five, Afflict 3. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a minus 1, minus 1 counter on him. And whenever he deals damage to a player, remove all the minus 1, minus 1 counters. And a regular land. See, that's what I'm talking about. The, the, the lands are just all weird. I thought it was every pack, or I guess it wasn't. Again, been forever since I opened up one of these stupid things. All right. Let's fight through commons. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Crook of Condemnation is the uncommon. Liliana's Defeat. And Sand Strangler. Strangler. The rare slot. Crested. Oh, there it is. I just said it. I opened my big fat trap and there it was. All right. So the last. I think it's going to be the last one. Uh, the last mythic is Crested Sunmare. I originally had this in Aluro, and then I, I, you know, from the changes, and I took it out. Uh, other horses you control have Indestructible. It's a 5 to cast 5 5, and at the beginning of each end step, you, if you gained life, create a 5 5 white horse creature token. So, it's not a bad card, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's just, you know, I was hoping for a uh, second Scarab God, you know. I can be greedy, right? We're allowed to be greedy every once in a while. Alright. And let's get through the commons. Crypt of the Eternals. Another one. A Cursed Horde. And Shefet Dunes. And then the rare is Angel of Condemnation. Uh, it reads for four. It's a 3-3 three, three, Flying Vigilance. Uh, two and a white tap. Exile another target creature and return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And for three as well. Exert. Angel of Condemnation, exile another target creature until Angel of Condemnation leaves the battlefield, so. And there's that. Alright, let's see what we got next. Oh. Alright. 
First up on the Uncommons is Manticore Eternal. Steward of Solidarity. Riddle Form. And the Rare Slot is Reason to Believe. Scry 3 and... Oop. Oh. Scry 3. And then the Believe is Aftermath. Look at the top card of your library. You can put it on the battlefield if it's a creature card. And if you don't, put it in your hand. Alright, so what I didn't get to show you was that there was also a foil in here, Tragic Lesson. Draw two cards, discard a card unless you return a land, you control the owner's hand, it's not a big card. Alright, so... Alright, let's divvy these up into the right piles and move on. Alright. Next... Do, 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 do. Alright. So, first uncommon is Gideon's Defeat. Inferno Jet. And Desert's Hold. And the rare slot is Rise to Glory. Rise of Glory. Alright, Forty Cast, Exile Creature. Exile Target Creature. Uh, if the creature was a god, his controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards from the same name as that creature. So it's removal. It's spot removal. Black. Love spot removal. <laughs> Bitches love my spot removal. Alright. Next. Some commons. Again, we're rifling. We're rifling. Alright. First uncommon in the pack is... Haship Oasis. Blood Water Eat Entity. And Ithnir Deadlands. And the rare slot is... Brominef Excavator. You may play land cards from your graveyard. Actually, it's not bad. Um, 3 to cast 2 3, and you can play. So basically, it's like Crucible of the World. It's only on a creature. Ooh! And a foil. Vizier of the Anointed. That's like the fourth Vizier of the Anointed. Alright. And a regular land. I don't get it. Alright. We only have like two or three packs left, so it's almost over, guys. I'm hoping not to reach that 40 minute mark on the video this time. Stupid scared god made me go over on time. Alright. Uncommons. Uh, Hashup Oasis again. Another Accursed Horde and an Inferno Jet. The rare slot is Uncaged the Menagerie. That's actually a mythic. <laughs> oh, that's the last mythic. That means I'm not going to get another scared god. Alright, another god at all. Uh, two green and X. Search your library for up to X creature cards with different names that each have converted mana cost X. Reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle your library. It's not really that good. <laughs> it's not X or less. It's converted mana cost X. So if you're looking for two two casters, I mean that that's not really that good. <coughs> Why was that a mythic? If it said X or less, it would have made more sense. Would have been worth it then. All right. What do we got here? All right. Do, do. Alright. Uncommons. Angel of the God Pharaoh. Sand Strangler. And Vizier of the True. The rare slot is Hour of Revelation. Okay. Hour of Revelation. Three white and three of any. Sorcery. When. Our revelation, revelation, bleh. hour of revelation costs three less to cast if there are ten or more non-land permanents on the battlefield. Destroy all non-land permanents. We have two packs left. Two packs. All right, pack one of two. See what we get. Let's go to the uncommons. All right, first uncommon, Angel of the God Pharaoh. I'm noticing a lot of repeats. I don't remember. Was this a, this, this was a small set of the two? Uh, Eternal of the Harsh Truce and Obelisk Spider. Couldn't get any more of those. I actually like that. Um, the rare slot. See, look, another repeat, and it wasn't Bantu's Last Reckoning. It actually, this was the same rare as, as two bags ago. They were right on top of each other, too. That's weird. Bad, uh, I guess, bad, uh, sorting. Last pack, 
and then we are done. Alright. And last time I'm going to say rifle through the commons, guys. And gals. And children of all ages. Alright, uh, farm to market. Quarry beetle. And, oh, there you go. Obelisk spider. The rare slot. Wildfire eternal. Don't even know what this is. For to cast one four, afflict four, and whenever wildfire eternal attacks and isn't blocked, you may cast an instant of sorcery from your hand without paying its mana costs. Foil? We got a foil out of this too. Dagger of the Worthy? Not really a good foil. So. <laughs> and then a regular old. I don't understand it. A regular old land. Alright, so. That was the box. Obviously, um. I got my money's worth out of it because I bought this box so long ago. It was like, I think, $80 or something like that. Um, the most exciting thing, obviously, is that I wanted a Scarab God. And I got a Scarab God. But let's pull out the three most, you know, I think monetarily the three most valuable cards in the, in the box. Sorry, I got to look at this again. So the Scarab God, exactly what I was looking for. So, well... Hope you enjoyed this episode of Kraken Packs. Uh, do me that favor. I asked you in the beginning of the, of the uh, video. I'm going to ask you to do it every time. Uh, go ahead and share this video. Let me get some more subscribes. I am roughly about 30 uh, subscriptions away from being able to name the channel. And I'd love to get there by the end of this month, if not uh, early next month. So go ahead and do that for me. Like the video. Uh, the more likes, the, the better I feel. And subscriptions. For those of you who have not done so yet, I do a video every Friday. This week was a crack and packs. Next week is probably going to be doing new uh, a, a new series. I'm calling Blues Crew, Blues Brews, which is my Commander Brews. So go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button for those of you that have not done so yet. And uh, go ahead and if you have any questions or comments, put them below. So uh, hope you enjoyed. My name is Dave again, I run Blue Bears Games, and have a good one.